Hey guys, Leo here back with another jacket review and in today's video we're going to be reviewing the Chateau Parka from Canada Goose. Fortunately, I was able to get this jacket for a fraction of its price off of a friend of mine. This jacket retails for around 1,250 Canadian dollars, but if you want to save yourself a little bit more money, you can actually get you can actually dock about $100 off if you decided if you decide not to go with the hooded fur model, making it 1,150 Canadian dollars at retail. Now we'll get into the functions and specifications of the jacket itself. The Chateau jacket uses 625 fill down, and if you're familiar with down jackets, you'll know that it is quite difficult to actually measure the fill down um, based on the overall warmth and breathability of the jackets. For example, a jacket with 300 grams of 625 fill down will actually be much warmer in comparison to a jacket that is 120 grams but is also using 625 fill down. Unfortunately, Canada Goose didn't specify how many grams they used in the jacket itself, so I don't really have a measurement for that. Moving forward, honestly, the Chateau jacket really impressed me because I was anticipating a much more heavier jacket when I uh, I guess tried it on, but it actually wasn't as heavy as I thought it was going to be and that goes back to the question, hey, if it's not as, if it's not heavier, does that mean that they use less down in the parka itself? Actually, no, because on the Canada Goose website, it actually advertises that the temperature that the jacket can withstand is as low as negative 25 degrees Celsius, which is quite impressive and um, might be a little bit overboard for where I personally live. I live in Vancouver, Canada, so it doesn't actually get that cold over here, but uh, me going back to school, I decided to pick this guy up because I'm going to be walking around campus and taking transit to school during the winter semester. It's going to be good. It's going to get quite chilly. So it was a little investment for me. And to keep in mind, I did get it at a fraction of its price. So now to get into its physical features. First, I want to mention that this model is a slim fit version and right now there's around four different chateaus listed on their website, so the models may differ. The chateau jacket does not have a removable hood unfortunately, but this model can remove the hooded fur. There are three total pockets in the front of the jacket itself, two for your hands which are fleece lined to keep your hands warm and has a flap to cover it when not in use to ensure that water doesn't enter. Moving on to the chest area of the jacket, we have a Napoleon style chest pocket. I don't know why it's called a Napoleon style, but I'm just gonna go with it. Which is not fleece lined, so if it's really cold out, I would not recommend throwing your phone in this pocket. Moving on to the interior of the jacket, it has two drop in pockets with a flap and a security pocket near the chest area with a zipper to keep your more valuable belongings. I was actually able to fit my iPhone 12 Pro into the interior pocket, but only without the case. So if that's a deal breaker for you, um, maybe find a new jacket or something I don't know I don't know but getting into the zippers the main frontal zipper is from YKK and has a double zipper system what is a double zipper system you may ask the double zipper system is used when you're sitting down with the parka zipped up and it allows you to zip the jacket from the bottom so you can man spread a little bit more comfortably one thing I want to mention is the back grab strap which I personally don't think many people who are thinking of just grabbing their jacket and walking around think of the first thing to grab also the stretch rib cups which helps avoid wind crawling up your sleeve and not to mention how comfortable they are. So if you actually check on Canada Goose's website, if you look at the customer recommendation on this jacket, it's actually sitting at around 86%, meaning 86% of customers who actually purchase this jacket will actually recommend it to you. But we'll get into my personal recommendation later on in the video so stick around till the end while you're at it um feel free to leave a like i put a lot of work into my videos so it'll be it'll mean a lot to me if you actually drop a like maybe even comment it'll put me on youtube's algorithms so um that'll be much appreciated so sizing moving on to the sizing of the jacket as i mentioned earlier i purchased a slim fit model and there's a huge difference if you're thinking of getting the fusion fitted edition the fusion fit is much narrow at the chest and hip where I believe the slim fit is a bit more relaxed. I also read somewhere that every year Canada Goose runs a survey to collect different body sizes in men and women to ensure that they have a basic assumption on the different sizes for their fusion fit. Getting onto the personal sizing of the slim fit and model, I decided to go with a size small. Initially, I was going to try to go for a size extra small, but, but luckily I actually just ended up going with a size small because to be honest, I don't think I would have been able to fit. Uh, any thicker clothing like a hoodie or like a crew neck, maybe even a fleece under here. If I ended up going with an extra small, I am around 5'7", 
uh, I think that's around 170 centimeters tall and I weigh around 130 pounds so just for I guess like a size uh, comparison for you if you're deciding to or considering getting the jacket so if you're thinking of layering up with this jacket I would just say stick with your normal size but if you're thinking of I guess just fitting like a t-shirt under and wanted wanting a more fitted look I would recommend getting their fusion fit in your true size but don't just purchase this jacket off of my I guess sizing because we're all built we're all built differently <laughs> My best recommendation is maybe if you can find a retailer going into their store trying on the jacket But if you don't live near a local retailer Then you would have to probably measure your physical measurements and then compare it to the online website on what they advertise their product as Now for my overall opinion on the Chateau jacket itself Unfortunately since I got this jacket secondhand the DWR coating which is the durable water repellent coating It has already worn off from the previous owner I'm thinking of probably recoding it during my free time. If you're here to see how well this jacket is going to hold up during, I guess, rainy season. Unfortunately, I didn't do any tests. I did try splashing water on it. The nylon will probably hold for like light rain, but it on, on heavier rainy days, probably not my best suggestion to wear. So I would say just maybe hold an umbrella. And honestly, you don't want to get down wet anyways, because if you never smelled wet down before, it smells like wet dog. That's my best comparison. It actually smells like a wet dog. <laughs> but I also wish that the hand pockets were a little bit higher, just because personally, I think it'd be more comfortable if I could put my hands a little bit higher towards my chest rather than how low it was. And my last little nitpick is if the interior security pocket could have been a little bit bigger because obviously I would probably put my iPhone 12 here if not for how small the pocket is first world problems am i right now to get into what i like about the jacket i personally love the double zipper system on this jacket since it does allow me to i guess sit down on the bus or on the sky train but it allows me to sit down and not worry about you know composing myself because i can just spread my legs up a little bit just zip up that just zip up that zipper a little bit and then i'm able to spread out my legs and it's comfortable and also one thing i also really like about this jacket is the inner lined fleece on the hand pockets so when i'm waiting around all day outdoors um i'm able to just put my hands in my pocket and i can rely on the fleece to just you know make sure that my hands stay at an optimal temperature or comfortable temperature now to get into if this jacket is worth a thousand dollars i'm gonna probably say no i wouldn't have spent my personal earned money on this jacket at retail price but if you can get at a discount, then I'd say yeah, it's it's definitely worth it. So if you can find your if you can snag yourself a deal for like maybe like 25% off of uh, the Chateau Parka, I'd say go for it. You can save yourself quite a bit of money. Or if even if you can go secondhand, you can actually reapply DWR coating on the jacket and then bring it to bring it to a dry cleaner to get it cleaned, and it'll be just as good as new. These jackets are meant to be cleaned every every season or so, so. With the proper maintenance, I'd say you can really find the longevity of the jacket if, as long as you're taking care of it properly. Leave a comment down below if you'd like to see me make a video on how to apply and wash or reapply DWR coating onto a jacket or even wash a down jacket. That'd be kind of interesting. So that's my overall review of the Canada Goose Chateau Parka. If you made it till the end of this video, thank you so much for sticking around. If you enjoyed this little in-depth review, feel free to leave a like. And if there's anything that I didn't cover in the video, feel free to comment down your your question and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Um, that, I think that concludes the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Okay, that's it. That's it.